Welcome. In this video, I will show you how to do programmatic CRUD operations in CockroachDB using the Go programming language. The websites, commands, and even the code for this quick start are in the video description below. For this example, I'm using Linux Mint 20, but the instructions are similar for Mac, Windows, and other versions of Linux. To get started, we will download the latest version of CockroachDB. Go to cockroachlabs.com, get CockroachDB, scroll down to Core, download for free, choose your operating system. There are two commands to download CockroachDB. Let's do those now. The first command is a wget, which will download and extract the CockroachDB tarball. Next, I will copy the CockroachDB executable file to user local bin. The next step is to download the latest version of the Go programming language. We'll go to golang.org slash dl to download the tarball for Linux. And save it to my downloads directory. Next, we'll extract the Go language. And then we'll update the path. Then we will install the PostgreSQL driver. Now we're ready to start the database. We will start a single node CockroachDB cluster with this command. Pause for a moment because it sometimes puts out a message after the prompt. Next, we'll start the SQL shell. We'll create the MaxRoach user. We'll create a database. Set this database as the default. Then we will grant privileges to the MaxRoach user. We will create the customer's table. And just to verify, we will show the table. It worked. Now with a backslash Q, we will quit the SQL shell. Next, create a new file in your favorite editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code. Copy and paste the large code block from the video description into this file. Save this file as crud.go in a temporary directory. Let's quickly walk through the code. There is, of course, an import statement and a main function. Here is where we open the database. Then we have an exec function to truncate the table, just to give us a clean slate each time we run the program. Then we have placeholders for the code for create, read, update, and delete. Then we close the database, and we're done. Display all rows is a helper method to display whatever rows we may find. Let's give this a quick try. Change to the directory with your crud.go file. Then type go run crud.go. It opened and closed the database. All is well so far. Next, we will add the code for create or insert. In this code, we generate four rows. We use an exec command to insert all four rows. 
and then we display that we wrote four rows. When we try that, we find that we wrote four rows. Using the query function, we select the four columns in our table and display them with our helper function. And we displayed all four rows. Next, we will update one of the rows. We will search for the row with an ID of 3, then set the balance to 1000. And as you can see, the third record had 300 and it now has 1000, so our update operation worked. Delete will also use a query function and delete the row where the ID is 1. And there it is. Our Go code was able to open the database, write rows, read rows, update a row, and delete a row. You've now seen how easy it is to perform CRUD operations using Go on CockroachDB. Happy coding!